So we'll continue to work with the same family of techniques, meaning getting grabbed at very close range. A number of ways you can get grabbed, we've already dealt with getting grabbed from behind when your arms are free. We'll deal with the same problem, but getting grabbed in the front when your arms are free. If I just use Magda to, just to show you what the problem is, don't do anything. If I was to grab Magda around the waist in this way and hold very, very close. So this is the problem that we're going to deal with. So again, if I work with, with Dave on this, getting grabbed, the problem is getting forced backwards, losing my balance. So immediately what needs to happen, stabilize yourself, especially in heels, sending the foot backwards. So getting my balance, dropping my body weight low. You notice I'm up on the ball of my foot, okay, pushing down, stopping him from moving me. At the same time, I'll do the other angle in a moment, I'm gonna send my hands over towards where his face is. I'm gonna put the heels of my hands on his cheekbones. From there, my thumbs are then going to visit his eyeballs, okay, and they're going to push backwards. And from there, strike downwards and move away. So I'll just go from the other side. Again, the grab happens, and I send my body weight backwards at the same time, very quickly. You know, so as my foot goes back, my hands move. So it's as economical as possible. Sending the hands, the heels of the hands, in towards the cheekbones, forcing, pushing towards the eyes, pressure. Hitting downwards, strong, and moving backwards and away. Yeah? Yep. Let's have a go. So nice and slow to start with, then we'll just talk through it.